a quick video of um, the uh, supercharger kit that I made, how it sounds. I in my garage right now. Sorry, it's. I don't know if this sounds any good, but uh, I tried to make one while I was driving, but it's like you just can't really hear it. You can't really hear the supercharger whine, but. Uh, there she is, there's the pulley, and uh, there's my blow-up valve, nice cheap eBay one. I, uh, it actually comes with two springs, a big one and a small one, they had both in at first. I initially had the little one in, but it was opening, and at first I thought I was supposed to do that, but that's because I was thinking of a turbo. Um, I went to just the big one, but then it wouldn't open at all, didn't have enough pressure. It's supposed to be open at idle, because this thing's making boost right now, I mean, you can hear it whistle. Um, so I went down the little spring, still too much. I literally cut the spring, so instead of being like that tall, it's like that tall. Um, I actually kind of like hand measured it. You know, I didn't actually take a measuring device to measure the spring, but it felt the same as what was in the Bosch one. That one broke, of course. Um, bought it off a guy that had a turbo, a Porsche turbo. But anyways, um, here, let me see if I can get a piece of paper to show you all how hard this is blowing. That's... That's not very good, but uh, oh here this nah, this is my uh, this is my workshop. Um, see that blow, and that's coming out of the blow off valve right now. It's basically making boost even at idle. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to uh, show y'all kind of a video. I'll uh, be doing another one when I'm at the tuner on Thursday. Oh, there's the uh, filter. I uh, was having it go under here. Uh, to come up here, but that just wasn't really working, and that's where I'm going to put my cool intake eventually. Um, so I just did like the that's how Pro Charger and Vortec has them on the GT. So I figured they made it work, I can make it work. Good God, that whistle is annoying. I, I changed it. I had a different. I figured if I put a smaller hole on, it would make more of a whoosh sound, but uh, not really happening. Here's my uh, here's the cockpit. I actually, where is that box? This is the box that the blow-up valve came in from eBay years ago when I got it for a different thing. This was the uh, tip that I was using. It's got these holes in it. I don't know if you can see them um, kind of along the edges. It's supposed to, as air goes through it, it sucks air down in through these holes and it's supposed to make a nice sound. It doesn't. Um, you know, I expect I'm not making as much of a release as turbos would, but... Um, Anyways, I just wanted to uh, show y'all guys, make a quick video how it sounds and such. I'll uh, see if I can get a better video while I'm driving, but the last few attempts I've made, you just can't really hear it. But uh, anyways, there it is. There's my awesome eBay catch can that I modified myself. I uh, actually took two metal plates and I drilled a couple little tiny holes in them and uh, I took a, uh, see this, uh, where, where's the filter? I don't know if you can see right down there. I took one of these, uh, filters, the, the, uh, PCV valve filters that would go on like old muscle cars and put one on the, uh, outlet end. And then on the inlet end where it comes from the engine, it's got a little tube that goes to the bottom. So the air has to go down the tube through the plates. And then recently I actually took, um, the green Scotch-Brite pads and wedged them in between those as well. So the oil has to travel through there.